Hi, I'm Barney Bushstein, and I love nature and all the aspects and things about it. And I'm here to share you our new show is called Nature's Natural Habitat. And I'll show you how to learn and love nature and enjoy everything within its limits. Let's go, come along, have fun. Hey, sir, sir, could you help us a little bit here? We're, we're filming nature, we're doc documenting things in, outside in the nature. Well, when it comes to nature, I know my doo doo. What, what's that right there? Doo doo. Doo -doo. What is it? Doo -doo. Poop. That's what that is. Oh, you can tell right there that came out of some animal's bum hole right there. Oh, that's, that's what that, that is. is. That's what that is. Is it has something to do with nature then? Yeah. That's about as natural as it gets right there. Uh, Indians used to cut it up, eat it for candy bars. You can try it if you want to. Maybe, good. maybe after lunch, I just had breakfast. It's real that's, good. You sure that, that's what that is? That's what that is. Poop. If it's part of nature, that's what we're documenting. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Looks like a, a bear cave. We're rolling. Rolling? Mm -hmm. I think what we have here is a, a modern bear cave. And it looks to be because there's a lot of aquatic stuff here that it's, it's probably a water bear. And uh, which would be actually aquatic bear aquatomus. That would be the right name for it. Aquatic bear aquatomus because of the water and the aquatic stuff. Did you get that? Okay. Good. Um, it looks to looks to be like there's a lot of bears that live here, so like doesn't look like there's been very many in there lately. Years ago. As you can see here, we're in nature, where all the, the trees and stuff are, and uh, there's a hole in the side of the mountain. Um, in the, during the Industrial Revolution of 1889, um, people didn't want to go across the rivers in their canoes, so they built a road going through this hole in the mountain. But it doesn't look like there's anything, like any people using it, so now I think bears and other, all sorts of wildlife and animals of sort, they live in this, this hole. And that would be a lot where a lot of animals live. Come along with me. <laughs> As you can see, it looks like someone was here camping or an Indian or something. Let me move this out of the way so you can see better. Someone had a campfire here, and it definitely wasn't part of nature or animals because we know they don't they can't start fires. Like this. Watch and learn how you start a fire for real in real life. Follow me and we'll go into a wildlife adventure. Cut. As you can see, I'm up on the third floor. It's really high. Follow me if you want to have fun. Over here, we have some eagles. You can see them. 
they're tiny baby eagles, but they, this is their natural habitat usually when they can't find a nest. Shh, quiet, because eagles can hear a lot of... Oh, look, we have one of those baby eagles flying around in, in their natural habitat. Here we're in, inside a cave where lots of animals use it for their, not only their natural habitat, but all kinds of other kinds of ha habitats. We're deep, deep in the, in the best territory of his natural habitat, and we have yet to see the infamous wildlife, wildlife uh, tunnel bed that lives in here, and we haven't seen any yet, but we're looking to find one so we can show everybody how fun it is Find the wildlife natural bed. You have to be quiet if you're going to be searching for bats in the right way because if you they're too loud then you'll scare them because see they're real sensitive to the concrete and everything like that it makes the sound vibrate and then scare all the bats away. Nine times out of ten it happens. We're still looking for the bats and the North American wild bats and we haven't seen any. But the one animal that we're actually looking for is the North American long-haired bandicoot badger. It's very dangerous. Don't whisper because if he sees you, then he might kill you. Because they're hungry a lot of times. And most of the time, you won't find any in a habitat, natural habitat like this. Because four and a half times out of 7.5, you'll never see one. And we're looking for him. And he's hard to find. What we have here, folks, it's not what we're really looking for lately, but if you like to see owls in person, then right here would be what you're looking for. Their natural habitat, aka nests, sometimes in these things. I don't know why, because some, they're kind of hard and metal, but owls like them sometimes. Yeah. Right here we just found some bat droppings, a North American wildlife bat. And you can tell it's been here because of the feet marks all over the ceiling. But there's bat droppings there. And there's probably more around here, which means that the one was here within the last 72 to hours to three weeks. I think it's been here lately. Just got done walking. At least. 300 yards to, to two and a half miles, at least that length. And we did not find any of the North American wildlife habitat beds. Nowhere to be found. But next time maybe we'll be lucky. We we're just really very 100% unlucky to this today. We're still looking for that honey badger look-alike. The long-haired bandicoot badger. He's dangerous. Maybe we'll get lucky and see one of them. And it'll be a good surprise for all the viewers out there who've never seen anything that dangerous. You gotta whisper though, because there could be people everywhere looking around for the same thing, and we wanna beat them to it because we're adventurous. Let's go. Hold up, guys. Alright. Let's get the show on the road. Three, go. There you guys are. We're just getting ready to exit and evacuate the North American bat habitat, even though we didn't see any. We're hoping to see some next time. We'll go on another adventure of lots of family and bat fun. Let's see if I can get out of here first. Natural 
water coming from the natural mountain above it. It's either that or it could be a lake that's not too far down the road that has excess water rolling into the mountainside that has water coming out of the tunnel that is a hole in it. There's a lot of stuff in nature's natural habitat that we can learn today, and this is just one of them if you look at it closely. That's it, everybody. I uh, hope everybody had fun and uh, learning about a lot of a lot of stuff today. And uh, I lost my hat. <laughs> but I hope everybody had a lot of fun today, learning a whole lot about nature and having a lot of fun doing so. Because I sure as heck had a lot of fun. And that's gonna be it for nature's natural habitat for today. We'll see you next time.